Welcome to Frugal Family Gardens. I am Julie. Let's do some gardening. Okay. All right. I've been sweeping and um, tidying up and decluttering out here in uh, the enclosed patio. It's time to tackle this bed, this flower bed, and then this. I am not usually the one who takes care of the lawns, but I can't handle this anymore. I can't. It's driving me crazy. So it is time. Wish me luck with that. Anywho, over here, the pear tree that we cut down a couple years ago, I thought I had killed it. Obviously not, because it's got like little shoots. So gonna have to do a better job of killing it. It was a really stupid place to plant it in the first place. And it wasn't the kind of pear tree that we thought it was. It was mislabeled. And so it was just not a good thing. But look at these alliums. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I love them. So pretty, so pretty. So this just needs to be raked out and then weeded. And then I need to decide, well, kind of what I want to do here. Well, and then of course, kill the pear tree for real this time. Definitely better than it was. And I was pleased to find out I still have some lamb's ears in there. Yeah, there's a few right there. A couple over here. And even a few over here. What I've got to do is pull them all up and clean out all the junk, all the dead stuff. Because look at this. It's just like matted. So nothing else can grow. Nothing else can do anything. Yeah, got to clean all that out. I don't think I'll do that tonight. But I'll separate those. I'll leave one of them in here. Uh, maybe, maybe two of them. Not sure what I'll do with the other one. I've still got weeds to pull. I did go ahead and spray the pear tree. I've got to go get my special dandelion tool digger thing and I'll clean all those out. But definitely better than it was. Like, <laughs> like shockingly. Okay, I am out here on a beautiful morning. What day is this? Thursday. Yep, out here I've got the table nice and tidied up. Feels so much better. I rigged up the broken umbrella from that really awesome umbrella that James bought me a year or two ago that I left open in a windstorm and it broke off of its original stand, but we're not throwing it away. We're still getting use out of it here this morning. Um, I'm going to water but also feed all of the plants out here, all the potted plants. And then I'm also going to go around in the shade garden and in the front yard and feed them as well. I'm just using some uh, water-soluble plant food. Remember, one of my commitments is feeding them this time. And seeing if that makes a difference and how much better they do by being fed <laughs> more than once a year. I added some fresh potting soil to that pot that we found in the dumpsters. I've also moved the curbside plant thing over here. Yeah, I'm just moving it around till I figure out where I want it to go. I've tidied up the kids' toy area. It's a million times better than what it was, holy cow. Um, so when I was figuring out uh, the table this morning, and you know, I ended up using the other umbrella, but this is one that I found in the bins and um, the metal is broken. I do not have any kind of welding or soldering equipment that would help with that. So what I want to do is recycle the metal, but reuse this fabulous kind of canvasy uh, umbrella. Ideas? Thoughts? My first thought, you guys, most of you know that I'm very Disney, is to make some kind of princess cape out of it. What are your thoughts? I know that's like not really gardening and probably something I should put on my uh, other channel because it's like a dumpster upcycling project and maybe I will talk about that on there But for now thoughts ideas. I think it totally is like a Prince Charming kind of a thing that or Or some kind of just yeah princess 
I don't know. Anyway, ideas. Definitely gonna scrap the metal. And then, yeah, we'll come up with something to do with this canvas. But if you've got some creative thoughts, tell me, please. Can I just say how much sweeping <laughs> I have done? <laughs> oh my lord. Ended up with blisters on my hands till I finally got smart and started wearing gloves while I was sweeping. Oh. <sighs> And the thing is, it just, it never ends. There's just more and more. And then with every little breeze or every windstorm, leaves come out of nowhere. I don't know where they're even coming from. Old, dry, dead leaves. Anyway, okay. Uh, next, I'm going to finish weeding this. And I'm going to uh, pull out all the dead stuff from the lamb's ears and um, broken pieces from one of my past little upcycling projects. Also, this needs to be repaired. Just needs to be glued back on. It got knocked over and knocked that off. Yeah, that's all from the dumpsters. Um, and I like the way they look there. This might not be the best spot for them though because the gate does come and shut right there. Eh, I'm not in the mood to move them. Okay, so um, let's see. I've got to go get the dandelion tool and a bucket and we'll just start cleaning this up a little more. I've thought a little bit about what I want to do with it and I'm thinking something kind of like a wildflower garden, but a controlled wildflower kind of garden. I don't know, still formulating it in my head. Changed my mind again, and I've decided I really like this right here. Yeah, absolutely. That is where that is going to live. Now we gotta get some pots put together uh, to hang on it. Not sure if I'm gonna make some or just go ahead and buy some. We'll see. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie and tell you that gardening is just fun. Some of it's not. Some of it really sucks. Digging up weeds and stuff like that. It's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. Whew. Especially when you have to like mess with and sometimes destroy or almost destroy other plants that you love. <laughs> but what I will tell you is it's very rewarding. It's so much work and it's so much effort and, and a constant battle, but it just feels so good, you know, once you've uh, accomplished something. It, do, it feels good. Case in point, I have gotten all the weeds out. Yep, yep, yep. Most of the dead leaves too, the rest that are there are not like suppressing anything. So I'm just gonna let them hang out and rot. This feels better. Now, if I don't tackle this situation over here, they're all going to just end up migrating over here eventually anyway. So that's going to have to be uh, pretty high up on the list, which sucks because that's not something I want to do. But I am going to soak the lawn really well overnight so that tomorrow I can come out here and make, well, quicker, quicker work of all of this nastiness. So hey, another great idea, maybe, maybe a great idea for that canvas that was the other umbrella, the red one. What if I made it into a tablecloth? Because I was just thinking, I need a tablecloth, but that has a hole in the middle. Hello, that umbrella does have a hole in the middle. It might, if I take like, you know, because there's like that little top piece up there, the red one has that too. If I just take that out, it's already hemmed all the way around. Couldn't I just, yeah, I think I totally could. And I think I might because this is really, really rough and unfinished and hello, Splinter City. And I wanna sit out here with my brand new computer, laptop that I got. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I got my stimulus check and decided it was time. I'm so done with fighting for the household computer to make my videos, which are my job. So um, I'm not gonna get into any other snottiness, private business on here about that, but it was time, it was time to do that. So this is now officially my morning office. Might even put up like little pictures and tchotchkes. No, just kidding. Uh, maybe a nameplate though. I think I should have a nameplate out here, don't you? Yes, I'm getting silly. <laughs> Been a weird week okay it's been a weird week but this is now officially my office legit this is my office why not why not have a gorgeous outdoor office surrounded by flowers and pretty stuff i'm gonna add um oh, there's something on the sorry about that i'm gonna add um like some wind chimes and stuff too i think that would just make it all the more pleasant and a nameplate anyway 
So yeah, a tablecloth. I think that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Oh, you're such a great sounding board. Yeah, I'm calling that a win. That's what I'm talking about. That is recycling, upcycling, repurposing. Genius level. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. So elegant. <sighs> you wanna see it from a little ways away? Okay, I'll show you. Right? <laughs> Welcome to my office. Thank you so much for coming along. I've been Julie, this has been Frugal Family Gardens and we will have so much more coming here soon. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't yet and we will see you all next time. Bye.